Hey traders, checking out on the cryptocurrency space, we've got the bulls keeping their control with some consolidation over the weekend, setting some healthy higher lows. I'll point out what would be some red flags for me in the short term, but the theme of the video is going to be finding the breakouts before they break out. And the clue, tightening ranges. We'll go over some examples. All right, so spotting breakouts before they happen. When we are in a bullish environment like we are currently in, keep an eye out for tightening ranges. A tightening range means that you have a stop level that is close by, and if it breaks bull, your reward is larger than your risk, which is what the name of the game of trading is, having more risk than reward. So when you're in a bullish market environment, you know that the probabilities are increased, that these tightening sideways ranges are going to break bull. Not only that, we've got the S&P 500 hitting all-time high. Tesla's a raging bull hitting all-time high. We're back in euphoria mode in markets as a whole, and Bitcoin is benefiting from that. So Bitcoin daily higher low set over the weekend took a while to form. We were grinding EMA 12 support. Our daily higher low is now 59.5. We had an hourly falling wedge type pattern that marked that bottom. And again, it was just bear breaks with a lack of follow through. So we broke support by 350 straight into a bounce. We broke support by 130 straight into a bounce. And this is what... I was keeping an eye on over the weekend. And again, broke bull. So daily high or low set. So what would be a red flag from here? Obviously the red flag would be a daily lower high and break of that support into weekly consolidation. That being said, we already have a couple positive for the bulls. The first positive, if you remember from the last video, the retracement size of this bounce was going to be very important for us. And here we are already over 50% retracement. So we can say that even if we do set a daily lower high compared to 67, the all-time high, that there is potential that we just tighten up for a while and look for a tightening daily equilibrium through most of this week. And if you remember, this is what I was looking for to be focusing on alts. I thought Bitcoin would run a little bit higher when we saw a new all-time high, but I was looking for the push to all-time highs, Bitcoin dominance in the spotlight, a top to be set, a notable pullback. In this instance, it was a pullback of about 13%. And now we've got a range that we can trade within for days and days. What the alt bulls want to see is the dominance chart weak. Because if we trade sideways and the dominance chart is dropping, that means altcoins are going up and outperforming the sideways trading Bitcoin. So the last thing we would want to see is the daily lower high and lower low, but we wouldn't see that without notable bear volume. We would have to have significant bear volume to break daily support from here. 12 hour perspective. Again, just watching for an equilibrium. Four hour has not confirmed a trend change yet. So I headed into this morning scouting consolidation, but we have a scenario right now where we're getting one of our famous rising wedges that just perpetually grinds higher. And eventually it will probably break into four hour consolidation, but I would have expected it to break two hours ago. So it's just continuing to walk up. That being said, I would be keeping an eye out. You know, if I want to hedge my position, I would be keeping an eye out because these bull breaks are lacking follow through. So I would be watching for a bear break of this 15 minute rising wedge. Then we would zoom out and scout a four hour higher low or an hourly higher low, one time frame at a time, hourly first. And again, tightening daily range on watch. The dominance chart is a potential head and shoulders with our left shoulder, head, and now all bulls are hoping this is a right shoulder because that would mean a weekly rejection from our recent high and a weekly sideways range. And we would then look for a weekly higher low, but that would be an environment where the alt bulls benefit in a big way. So I'm scouting a daily lower high on the dominance chart. And then if the alt bulls are going to have a good week or into next weekend, we need that lower low. Ethereum, top watch for me. And I added just recently to my swing position, averaging up. Why? Because the setup was there for a four hour high, higher low, inability to break resistance, bull flag. And so as soon as I saw that shaping up, market bought 4170s, just a little day trade, scaled out into the move into the 4220s, 4230s. And again, just constantly lowering the cost basis of my swing position and we now have a 12 hour equilibrium on Ethereum breaking bull. High, low, lower high, higher low. 
There's your bull break. And it aligned with ETH BTC daily consolidation and hourly oversold conditions. So hourly oversold and that bull break on that four hour time frame, leading to this ETH BTC significant bull move. The best case scenario for the Ethereum bulls is a daily higher low and confirmed trend change on the ETH BTC pairing. The Bitcoin dominance chart setting a daily lower high and Ethereum breaking the double top of all time highs. It's my top watch for this week. And again, tightening 12 hour equilibrium is why I was watching for this. It was an entry for bulls, low risk, high reward, as far as making a play off of 38.85 support. And obviously the bulls are chugging along. So limited resistance until all time highs from here. We got 42.73, 43.75, and the all time high is right above that, 43.84. So a bull that's walking up a stop on a swing position can now use the daily higher low. They can use the 12 hour higher low. And we're looking for all time highs in Ethereum, the sooner the better. But again, ETH BTC does have to see that daily trend change confirmed. So SHIB got a big bull break over the weekend. I'm gonna cut it right now and go to a video clip from over the weekend in a video that I made for Chart Guys members. And just to show you what was standing out and again, spotting breakouts due to tightening sideways ranges before they take place. Good morning, Chart Guys members, checking in on the requested altcoin. So SHIB USDT is getting nice and tight. The bulls are attempting to hold the daily EMA 12 and the higher lows, which is keeping them in control. And we're watching for, look at the volume. We're watching for this volume spike. We know it's coming. This is one of the charts where we can say, if you want to impress your friends with technical analysis, you say SHIB is about to see volume and volatility, and we are favoring bulls as long as we're in uptrends because it's much easier to continue the trend versus changing it. So we have a lower high and the most important short-term resistance is at 29.57. And we're looking at the higher low here, not really convincingly set yet. I'd like a little bit more follow through, but if we've got to pick a support level that's nearby, it's 2702, which is a triple bottom essentially. So again, a low risk, high reward play here is a bullish entry, a stop under that level. If you stop out, your loss would be, I don't even know how to say these numbers, but from 28.13 to 27.02, let's just call it 120. You lose 120, and if you get a bull break over 29.55, then you're looking at at least two reward for one risk. And then obviously, ideally, it really gets going, which is when the reward can be many times more than the potential risk. So that's one play to be looking at here. The other way to do it to be more patient would be entering on a bull break, but at that point, your risk and reward is less favorable as your stop level is not exactly close by. But again, volume spike is coming here very soon. I would say sometime within the next three days. So again, as we see the tightening range, it can break in either direction, but it's all about probabilities. Either direction is possible, but we know bullish is more probable because of the higher lows, the EMA support, the bullish macro environment and cryptocurrency as a whole. So a very significant breakout, a big time pullback for a four hour higher low. And now we've got an equilibrium. So high, low, lower high, higher low, and a tightening range. I was driving to a waterfall yesterday with a couple of Chark Eyes members, and they were both in the back seat on their phone playing this four hour bounce. And we got the Trader Alerts Pro doing a good job on the 15 minute time frame here. 15 minute overbought, oversold climax. So we hit the climax and trade sideways, another leg up. We hit the climax and pull back. The oversold climax. Good job marking that bottom for the four hour bounce to begin. EMA 12 on the four hour time frame was in play as well. And again, I cannot stress enough that when I'm looking for an oversold bounce, I love when a longer term time frame EMA is at play. Scouting a daily high or low. EMA 12 support hourly oversold conditions. Scouting a four hour high or low, 15 minute oversold, EMA 12 on the four hour time frame. And even just today, Tesla, blue sky bull, 15 minute EMA 12, beautiful entry. MARA, crypto miner, 15 minute EMA 12. It may not hold, but certainly giving enough of a bounce to position in case it does not. So EMA 12, 
looking for higher lows on longer term timeframes. So SHIB four hour, if it breaks bull, we're looking right back up at that high. And bigger picture, the all time high on Binance will then be in play if we break bull. And if we break bear, we will then be scouting first hourly oversold conditions and we'll be scouting a daily higher low. But again, these little hourly higher lows just keep forming, which is keeping bulls in control. It's keeping pressure on shorts. Keep an eye on those higher lows. SHIB BTC was very tight as well. The breakout took place at the same time. AXS this morning. So just pulling up my post this morning. So AXS USDT 621 AM back to top watch as the daily chart gets real tight and a potential weekly bull flag, blah, blah, blah. Again, it's just finding tight ranges. So I looked at AXS this morning, high, low, lower, high, higher, low, lower, high, higher, low. And at that point in time, 621, bull break had not started yet. It was right here. And then right after that post, we get the breakout. Didn't see a ton of follow through, but the bull break took place on the daily. And now the weekly bull flag is still in play. And we're looking for an hourly higher low on this consolidation. It's more pullback than the bulls would like to see. Look at the bear volume. There's no doubt about that. But again, a, a very quick bull break from a tight range that resulted in a move of 10% plus to the upside. Definitely want to sell some partial positions to be in complete control of the trade. And now we're looking for an hourly higher low and then an hourly lower high. Again, it's a wide enough range that we would then be scouting an hourly equilibrium as the more likely scenario from here. So again, as we are in this bullish crypto environment, AX... S, BTC, daily trend change confirm. As we are in this bullish crypto environment, scout names that are tight on the daily. That's why I traded ADAUSD recently. And again, it was a, a bummer to get wicked out, but it was the sideways tight daily range, which is still the case. As far as I'm concerned, this trade is still in play. It was an initial failed breakout. ADA BTC has to confirm the daily trend change bullish. And if the Bitcoin dominance chart sets a daily lower high, that will potentially be shaping up. But it is still very tight. So again, find those tight names on the daily, on the US dollar pairings, and watch their BTC pairings for clues that it is their turn. Sol USDT, all-time high test here. We did get a new all-time high, but not really convincing yet. Daily bull flag confirmed. First hourly oversold conditions was the prime time entry and a notable 15% plus bull move from hourly oversold. So again, zoom out, scouting a daily higher low, hourly oversold conditions, hourly trend change confirmed, and it's been nothing but bulls since then. Plenty of space for a four hour higher low next time we consolidate. And again, bulls do want more follow through. We broke the all time high, but only by 1%. So keeping an eye on it. So BTC needs follow through. So that's something to keep an eye on. A little bit of a red flag that we're not breaking sole BTC resistances while the US dollar pairing is breaking bull. So not enough to bail on a position, but you definitely want to ensure that this daily resistance breaks if we are going to see follow through on sole USDT. So again, just practice finding those tightening ranges, daily equilibriums or 12 hour equilibriums, four hour equilibriums. They favor bull breaks as long as Bitcoin's in a daily uptrend as long as we've got euphoria in markets, which has definitely returned over the last two weeks. And watching the Bitcoin, there we go. So maybe we're breaking this 15 minute rising wedge bear, which would mean zoom out, scout an hourly higher low. And inevitably we will see four hour consolidation because this move came straight off the low with no four hour higher low and trend change. So it looks like a temporary top is being set at the moment. And we just need to ensure that this consolidation remains healthy and that we don't see increasing bear volume on longer term timeframes like the four hour or the daily. Again, there's three scenarios for Bitcoin here. V-shaped to an all time high, which would need notable bull volume. Downtrend, breaking to a lower low, which would need notable bear volume. And in the absence of any notable volume, we're looking for a tightening equilibrium to play out potentially for another few days. Feel free to ask any questions. Hope you had a good weekend. Don't forget to do good things and we will see you soon. Soon.
This fig tree on its second year is putting out a ton of fruit. Been able to eat a lot of these fresh figs. Something I didn't really have until I was in my later 20s. Didn't have these growing up, but it's definitely one of my favorite fruits. And I'm very glad I planted a bunch of fig trees. This is lettuce that I didn't plant any of. You can see it's here as well. But if you remember, there was Dr. Seuss lettuce here. Just big overgrown things that I let go. And they dropped all their seeds. So got a nice fall crop of lettuce without having to do a thing. And I did plant radishes in there as well. So there are a few radish, or not radishes, uh, beets. And this is carrots that I planted a few weeks ago. These carrots definitely love this time of year and weather a lot more than the summer. Got Brussels sprouts, some onions, cabbage. I'm just letting the weeds do most of their thing. That is cilantro. I'm going to cover with fabric this year. Last year I didn't do much and I let the weeds just do their thing. And in the spring it was not fun getting all those roots up. So I am going to cover these with fabric and some stone and just make it a lot easier to work next spring.